It's a significant strategic gain for the rebels fighting Colonel Gaddafi, with battles raging right through Libya's western mountains. Capturing this border opens up a crucial supply route. Rebel forces took control of this border post in the early hours of Thursday morning. They've held it ever since. The government in Tripoli has claimed that Gaddafi's forces since recaptured the border post. That is not the case and has never been the case. Two months of fighting in the western mountains has already driven thousands of Libyans from their homes. This is their escape route from here into refugee camps or the homes of sympathetic Tunisians. We've been living in extreme fear all the time. It's been 20 days like this, not sleeping, not eating, and random shelling. Among the people now crossing are men who've joined the fight. This man told us the uprising against Gaddafi runs right through society in the West. Policemen, former policemen, doctors, engineers, uh, farmers, anyone, workers, uh, all young. It's like a mix, you know, the, the ordinary people. And what was your job before you came to fight here? What was my job? Yeah. I am an accountant. <laughs> Opposition fighters have come to the Tunisian town of Tatooine to pick up basic supplies of food and petrol for the people left in the mountains. This new supply line has broken the siege there. Rebels say the fight is going out of Gaddafi's forces. They're not strong at all. You know, they're using the, the long-range missiles, which basically need some expertise to use the weapons, you know. But when we face them face to face, they easily run away like that. When it comes to very close contact, you know, they just run away. That's all. They leave everything behind them. But so important is this border that the threat from Gaddafi's forces remains. These opposition fighters are braced for a counterattack. 